Hello viewers, welcome back to Walk Africa Fun Facts. We purpose to demystify Africa and to create a new interest for Africa and her endowment. This new video focuses on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which is the largest hydroelectric power project of Africa that has been recently on the headlines of major world media agencies. If you're not yet subscribed to me, welcome on board. Subscribe and click on the notification bell for more alerts from Walk Africa Fun Facts. Let us now dissect the novel Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. In this video, I'll present to you 15 facts that are worth knowing about the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Number 1. This dam is located on the Ethiopian Benishangul Gumuz region, which is 15 kilometers east of the border with Sudan. Number 2. The site of construction of this dam was identified 64 years ago in 1956 by the United States Bureau of Reclamation. Number 3. The dam has had three names. The original name, which was Project X, the name that was assigned to the dam when the contract was announced, which was the Millennium Dam, and the name given to it by the Council of Ministers, which was the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Number 4. The main purpose of construction of this dam was power production, which was purpose to offset huge power deficits uh, in Ethiopia. Excess energy will be exported to neighboring countries. The construction company awarded for the construction of the dam was Salini Impregilo, which is now called WeBuild, an Italian construction and civil engineering business which is based in Milan. Number six. The construction of this dam began in 2011 at the same site which was prospected uh, 55 years before. Number seven. Let's now delve on the dimensions of this dam. The height of this dam is 145 meters, the length of this dam is 1780 meters, while the volume of water this dam can hold is 10.2 million cubic meters of water. This water can run up to a depth of 140 meters. Number 8. The dam has an installed capacity of 6500 megawatts of power and there is a planned annual generation of over 16,000 gigawatts hour. Number 9. The reservoir that will form behind this dam will be called the Millennium Reservoir and it will have a capacity of 74 billion cubic meters of water. Number 10. This reservoir will take up to 15 years to refill. Number 11. How about the funding of the dam? This dam will be funded by Ethiopia by a government bond issued to local citizens and citizens abroad. Part of the construction is funded by Chinese banks. Number 12. Conflicts associated with the dam. The building of this dam is contested by Egypt, a country over 2,000 kilometers downstream from the site of construction. Egypt argues that the dam will affect the level of water it shall access from the Nile, which is its major source of water for irrigation. Negotiations are underway between Sudan, who will benefit from the dam as it will control flooding in Sudan. Then you have Ethiopia, who will achieve development goals uh, with a lot of power production which will uh, uh, for finance or focus on the, the deficits they have of power. Then thirdly we have Egypt who feel that the dam will reduce the amount of water uh, downstream which will uh, affect her irrigation needs uh, whereby Nile River contributes up to 97% of this water. Number 13. The international community is watched. The talks between the three African countries is under the brokerage of the African Union, the European Union and the World Bank, lasting between Sunday the 2nd of November 2020 to Sunday 9th November 2020. The US President Donald Trump previously commented in warning that Cairo might blow up the dam. Number 14. Benefits of the dam, a bilateral dimension. This dam will bring power deficit to uh, steel meeting virtually all of her power needs. The dam will also control siltation in the Rosiris Dam, which is downstream. Water could be diverted from the reservoir to facilitate local irrigation and irrigation of the neighboring country, which is also very dry, that is Sudan. Number 15, international listing. The dam will be the largest in Africa in terms of hydropower potential and it will be the seventh largest in the world after the three gorges dam, uh, dam of Ethiopia, 
or I mean of Tanz uh, of uh, of China, which is 22.50 gigawatts of power, and then the Itaipu of Brazil and Paraguay, which uh, produces 14 gigawatts of power, and then the Xiluodon of China, uh, which is producing 13.8 gigawatts. Then you have the Belomonte of Brazil at 11.2 gigawatts, Guri of Venezuela at 10.2 gigawatts, Tukuruy of uh, Brazil at 8.370 gigawatts, and the Grand Coulee of USA at 6.8. Then we have the seventh, which is the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam at 6.5 gigawatts hour. That is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. You can always subscribe to us. Let us walk Africa to know Africa.